Okay. Hi everyone, me again. This time we're going to have a look at alternative ways of saying the EA graphene. Right, so let's go through our sounds first. So here's your phase three. Go up, pause me, go through them. Any that you didn't get right last time, get them right this time. Keep going over the ones that you're not sure about. Okay? So we've got sh, oi, er, a, u, and o. Which ones did you get right? Which ones did you get wrong? Which ones did you get wrong last time? Go over them. Now go through them. Ready? A, ow, w, e. Two sounds, u and u. Two sounds, u and u. Oi, o, u, o, f, and o. You remember this one? Yesterday's lesson we talked about how it makes two sounds as well an I and an E sound. So that one graphene makes two alternative sounds. Do you remember this one? We did this a couple of weeks ago. It can sometimes make a H sound. Not often, but it can sometimes. Okay, split digraphs, making that long vowel sound. Have a go in these. Okay, pause me, read them. Can you make any links with the words you read last time? And then I'll read them for you. So we've got plane, skate, prime, smoke, drone, mule, dude, swipe, sincere, and these. Okay, so today we're looking at how are alternative ways of saying the E spelling. So the EA grapheme and how we, but it makes two different sounds. So, we have seen the E spelling before, like in the words, bead, bleak, and east. But sometimes, in some words, it makes a different sound. Like in this word, okay? Sometimes it makes a short E sound, E. Not a long E sound, a short E sound. Should try it in this one. Sound to tout. H, E, D, head. Okay. Abigail hit her head on the floor. She didn't really, I just made that up. Okay, have a look at these words. They all have the alternative sound, the E, E, E sound. So try reading them with that E sound. So we've got dread, dread. Sweat, sweat. Feather, feather. Bread, bread. Wealth, wealth. Right, sorting time. Have a look at these words. So I want you to one the ones that make the long the e that makes the long e sound. I want you to colour that in blue. And the ones that you think might make the short e sound, colour them in green, okay? Right, have a look at these sentences. Pause me, try reading them. Try the alternative sounds. Should it be an E? Should it be an E? Which one makes sense in the sentence? I know that this is a little bit hard to read up here. So this one is, the weather was, so you should be able to read that one, that big word. Break it up. Find what bit is easy. Can you see something hidden inside it that you might already know? For instance, you can probably, if you can't read that word in the middle, I, I will be really cross. So we could do delightful, delightful. Try this one. Is it an E sound? Is it insteed, insteed? Have you ever heard of that word? Does that make sense? Try with the other one, insteed. Oh, instead of doing work, Mrs. Woods, oh, we've got it again. Mrs. Woods reads, well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Instead of doing work, Mrs. Woods.
much read her book. That doesn't quite sound right, does it? I'll try it with the other sound. Instead of doing work, Mrs. Woods read, read her book. That sounds better, doesn't it? That's hard, that, isn't it? It could be read and it could be read. It just depends on the sentence. Try this one. For, right, we've got a big word there. It's a compound word it's made of two words that have been put together to make a completely new one. What word could it be? Try sound it out. Sound out the first bit and then do the last bit or do it the other way around. What's that word? Breck. Breck. Or is it breek? Is it breakfast? Does that sound right? Or breck. Breakfast. That sounds right. For breakfast, Mrs. Haydock had. Oh, is it breed? Breed? Mm, that doesn't sound right. Or could it be bread? Bread and a cup of tea or ta. Which one's right? I think it's tea in that one. Another video of somebody else going through the same sounds. Same as last one. Put these sounds in and read the words. You don't have to. You can just write them out on a piece of paper. You don't have to do it on this sheet. It's just more practice of those same sounds. And then this time, I want you to sort the words on the next page. Are they the E sound or the E sound? Okay, and there's a list of those words. Okay, well done guys. See you soon.